Welcome back art classes. This is part two of our video for the back side of our dream room. Hopefully you have your table set up already and this next video is going to walk you through all of the rest of the things that I'm expecting to see in your dream room. I hope you follow along. Now that we have our table in the right spot, let's work on putting a bed in our dream room. So a bed is basically a giant rectangle with 3D. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my rectangle shape and I'm going to put it in this corner here just so it doesn't take up all of the space. So I'm drawing kind of a squished rectangle, kind of skinny, not as skinny as our table. I'm going to connect those. Now the next step I'm going to do is connect these three sides to our vanishing point. So I'm going to make very light lines. There we go. And I don't need my bed to go on forever, so I'm going to go ahead and chop it off. Probably about here. And then I'm going to connect this line. And I'm going to go straight down. I want it parallel to here. So that line's probably going to be pretty darn small. Straight down. There you go. Now, just like I did. For my table, I'm going to erase the vanishing lines I don't need anymore. And to make it easy on myself, I'm also going to erase all of the lines on the inside here that I'm not going to be able to see anymore because the bed is in the way. There is my bed. Now, my bed is not floating, so I want to make sure that I'm giving it some little legs here and here. There's also going to be legs that connect it down here to the floor that we're going to be able to see. Cool. There is my bed. If you wanted to add a headboard, you could. Maybe I'll do one right now so you can see what that might look like. Straight up and put some fancy little knobs on it and maybe it's got one of these. Your bed can look like whatever you want it to look like. I I'm just designing one. In a minute, you can add all your pillows and blankets that you want. So, there is now my bed. If you wanted to make your bed a sofa instead, because that is an option, you start almost the same way. So you're gonna be making your rectangle. You'd probably make it a little bit shorter. And then the only thing different you would add is you Look at the side of a sofa, it's kind of got the back part like this. You would have that, and then these lines, these points, would also connect to the vanishing point. All right, the next thing that we are going to work on is a rug. So our rug is pretty easy. It just goes parallel to the floor lines, however big or small you want it. My rug actually will probably extend to outside of my frame. So I'm just gonna leave this side empty and then I'm gonna use my vanishing point on that side. If you wanted to make tassels, I'll put a design on that later. And maybe it would end underneath the bed there on that side. Add some more tassels. Those would be darker though because they're underneath the bed. And there's our rug. So you'd have your bed or your sofa if you made it into that. You have your rug, table. I still have my walls and ceiling to decorate. Hey students, now is a great time to give this video a pause to make sure that your sofa or bed and rug are in perspective. Let's do a light source next. Move that one out of the way. For my light source, you can do one of two things. In the middle of your ceiling, you could create a skylight. To make a skylight, you would make your lines parallel to the wall line, and then you would connect the sides oops, to the vanishing point. There's a skylight. If you want to make your skylight look rounded, you can add a dome. You would only be able to see it on this side and not on this side because we are coming from this way. The other thing you can add as a light source is a hanging light. A hanging light usually comes straight from the ceiling 
I'm going to make the cord go straight down. And then I'm going to make this light, maybe like one of those fancy lights that are like Starbucks. Like that. Maybe it's got the fancy light bulb in the middle. So there's a light source just to give you an idea of how you could make one. You could make a chandelier. You can make one of those things that holds candles. You could make anything you want. You could just make a straight up light bulb hanging from a wire if you want. It is your dream room. You make it how you want. Now I have the light. I have the sofa or bed. I have a rug. I have a table. I still need a door and some wall art. So there's a couple ways to do a door. If you want, you could put a little bit of a door on this side right here, or you can put a door on the back wall. Now, if you put anything on the back wall, you won't have to use the vanishing lines. What that means is if something is flat against the vanishing line, you're not going to see any of the perspective. So say that I was going to make a door right here in the middle of my back wall. I would make sure all of my lines are parallel and maybe I'll add some details. I'm gonna add my door handle right here and there's your door. Say you wanted to add a door on this side. It's roughly the same thing as before, right? So you're gonna make your line parallel. This bottom, right, that vanishing line already goes to the vanishing point. The top is going to need to do that as well. So you're gonna go to the vanishing point there you go, you can add a door handle too. Again, students, this is a great place to pause to make sure all of your items are in the correct perspective. The last thing that I would like for you to add is some wall decorations. It can be art, it can be a window, it could be a shelf, but something along the walls. So what I'm going to do is just make a couple of paintings. Now, the sides of my paintings are always gonna be parallel here, right? They go straight up and down, unless someone is hanging them kind of wonky. Just like I've done on everything else, I'm going to connect the top and bottom using the vanishing point. Now, you notice at this point, I have so many things going on in my dream room that I'm not drawing my vanishing lines anymore. I'm just using my vanishing point as the place where I'm holding the ruler to and I'm moving the ruler around. So there's one, I can make it a giant happy face or whatever kind of poster I want that to be. And then maybe I'll put a smaller one over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make the sides of it and then I'm gonna connect the top and bottom to my vanishing point. Now your dream room can have as much stuff as you want it to. If you wanna make bookshelves, those definitely count as wall decorations. If you want to make a aquarium I would count that as a wall decoration all of these things just other stuff in your dream room I don't want it to be empty okay so that's all I care about so when you feel like you have all of these things go ahead and snap a picture and upload it to the spot on Neo and I will be sure to give you a virtual stamp